<sighs> Finally. <sighs> so, after you left the village, hmm? I let you off the hook before, back at the hall, but not this time. Oh. Hmm? Well, when we were kids, everybody wanted to be a soldier, right? Yeah, I remember they were on the news every day during the war. Thing is, by the time I finally made it in, they didn't need heroes anymore. It was nothing like what we dreamt of. It was just working for Shinra. Just... I'm sorry. I know it's a touchy subject. Oh. Not exactly small talk. Especially with someone you haven't seen in a while. I get it. Still, it's kind of funny. Us going our separate ways, thinking that must be it. That we'd never meet again. And then here, of all places, we do. You know what? We should totally celebrate. Let's dress up and hit the town. Really? I mean, why not? It'll be fun. Do you even have fancy clothes? Not like fancy fancy, but I'll figure something out. What do you think would suit me, huh? Something exotic? Uh, really? Then again, if we're making an effort... Be sure to pick an outfit that goes with mine, okay? Will do. <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun. You'll see. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> and on that happy note... I think it's time we head back to the bar. Come on. Uh, you don't need a break? Honestly, I'm feeling pretty good. Marl isn't always right, you know. Okay, my beautiful ladies, time to line up for the dawn. Of familiar. We haven't met before, have we? Mm -mm. Uh, whatever. All right, y'all good to go? Then let's do this thing. Introducing Wall Market's most eligible bachelor, the one and only Don Corneo. Ladies? Uh. Very nice. <laughs> Whichever one shall I pick? <laughs> oh. Shall I pick you? <laughs> or maybe you? Yeah. <laughs> Today's? And tomorrow's, or the day after's, if the dawn takes a shine to you. Pathetic. Huh? Hey, which one of you said that? Was it you? Ooh, you got a mouth on you. I'm gonna enjoy breaking it in. 
Today's lucky lady is the Big Bone Girl! Huh? Still playing hard to get? I can dig it. Oh, yeah. The leftovers are all yours. Yeah! yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, ladies. Y'all come with me. Don't be shy, little kitten. Shimmy on over and give Daddy some sugar. No need to play coy. Nobody here but you and me. Oh, you're even cuter than I Oh, back off. Ooh! <laughs> this kitten's got claws! I love it! <laughs> what was that? Don't you worry, your pretty little head. Just a picture to preserve the moment. And to ensure you don't do anything inappropriate like say no. Asshole. Oh, praise me more! <laughs> Hey, yo, fellas! We got guests, and y'all got huh? first crack at entertaining them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Courtesy of the ever-generous Don Corneo himself, never forget the Don provides. Yeah. Good day! Oh! <laughs> so, baby, ready to get to it? Yeah, I guess I'm good to go whenever. How about you, Tifa? Mm. Four guys between us. Okay, let's not keep Cloud waiting. Right. Wait. I know you. The Coliseum. Uh, uh, what the hell? Get down! Uh, yes. uh, no, you stupid! Good job, Eric. It was nothing compared to you. <laughs> Andrea filled me in on the situation. I come bearing gifts with you. I'll do what I can to clean this up. Just finish the job. Uh, thank you! Man, I'd love to spend some quality time with like that. Bet they're going at it right now. Okay, let's go! See you too late. I hear you. Yeah. <laughs> you little bomb. Not that. <laughs> no surprises there. You can here. do it! I got hey, this! Ain't you yeah. to reach it? Get him! Dude, son of a What you a bad boy I bastard. am! <laughs> yes, yes I am! Here I come, baby! <laughs> hey, who the hell gave you permission to do that? 
One of you get in here and teach this bitch some manners! Sorry, but your boys had to learn some manners, too. What the? Cloud, your clothes! <laughs> oh? So you're a man, huh? What are you three up to? We'll ask the questions. Like, why'd you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Nah. Huh? Don't know what you're talking about. Don't play dumb with me. Let's try again. Why did you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Spill the beans, or... I'll cut them off. All right, all right! I'll talk, I'll talk! <sighs> uh, some guy with a gun for an arm! I was paid to find him! Paid by who? I can't tell you that! They'd hunt me down like a dog! Well, you better. Because if you don't, I'll rip them off! <laughs> It was the Director of Public Security, Heidegger! It was Heidegger! Shinra! And what were they planning? Some things are better left unsaid, you know? See, I'm not so sure they are. Better keep talking. Or I'll smash them. All right, you got me. I could never say no to a sexy girl. Since Avalanche blew up two reactors, Shinra's decided they ought to stamp them out, home base and all. And I mean, stamp out. By targeting the support pillar and blowing it up. The pillar? Did I stutter? The plate will come crushing down. <laughs> It'll be Sector 6 all over again. I'm sure you've been there and seen the wreckage for yourself. So you know exactly what Sector 7's gonna look like. They wouldn't. Come on, guys. We gotta go. Before you do... No. Please, this won't take long. As everyone knows, villains only divulge their plans in a certain situation. But what is that situation? <laughs> when they're faced with certain death, jackass. <laughs> Not what we were looking for. But you can find it in the sewers. <laughs> 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 Enjoy the sights and smells! <laughs> Tifa? to get back to the slums right now. Yeah. I didn't want to drag Aerith into all this. She'll understand. How do you two know each other? I saved her. She saved me. Round and round it goes. And that's all there is to it. Sure there isn't something else going on? Um.
there it goes. Do you think it lives down here, or...? It was probably Corneo's pet. And we were dinner. <laughs> hey, you don't believe that crazy story of his, do you? Shinra wouldn't sacrifice a whole sector just to take out Avalanche, would they? Destroying part of the city, killing all those people just to get at us? I don't know. Is Corneo the kind of guy who'd make up shit just to screw with you? I wouldn't put it past him. But if he was telling the truth, hmm? and there's still a chance he was, isn't there, then we should go. And if it turns out he was lying, then so what? Right? Mm -hmm. Hmm? Uh, Tifa! It worked! Wait a minute. I know this place. Sector 7 should be just on the other side of this waterway. So this is where Sector 6 ends. And where Sector 7 begins. Once we cross over, we can start looking for a way back to the surface. Might be harder than you think. Let's just try to make our way down this tunnel. See if we can't use those gates to clear a path. We can do this. We'll figure it out. Yeah, for sure. I can't stop thinking about what Corneo said. I know. Me too. It's gotta be a trick. There's no way they'd go that far. But... But what if Corneo really was telling the truth? We have to get there in time to stop it. We have to. Right. <sighs> Aerith, what are you not telling me? Huh? Uh... Guys, come on. We gotta keep moving. Coming! I'll go first. Mm. <sighs> okay, Aerith. Your turn. On my way. Here we go. Almost there. That was close. Thanks, you saved me. <laughs> Least I could do. Hear that, Cloud? <laughs> Come on. Focus. Still thinking about the plate? Yeah. The future isn't set in stone. That's what I always tell myself. Yeah. I hope you're right. How about this then? Think of something fun. After saving Sector 7, you're gonna... I'm gonna... Go shopping, topside. I'll buy stuff for the bar, decorations, coasters. Can I come? You'd better. Then it's a date. <laughs> <laughs> Cloud can carry all our stuff. <laughs> He'll be our pack chocobo. <laughs> what was that about me? Nothing.
Sorry about that. No need to be. No one live in these buildings? Nope. No one to get mad if we make noise. Looks kinda rusty. I'll go first. It's pretty old. Be careful. Okay. <laughs> Easy now. You worry too much. I'm not some princess who needs to be coddled. Shit. Thank you, Cloud. <sighs> ah, there it is. The wall. You know, I thought about leaving once, but in the end, I couldn't. Too dangerous? Too much. A whole world bursting with life. Maybe more than I can handle, I think, sometimes. Even now. People hate the steel sky, the slums, but I don't. How could I? All that passion, all those dreams, flowing and blending together into something greater. I'll go first. After all, I can't count on you to wait. Sure about this? See for yourself. Hmm, maybe I'll go on ahead and leave you all by your lonesome. Just, uh, Maybe you shouldn't talk. Then you talk. Tell me a story. Not for free. Cheapskate, you're, uh, uh, Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Huh. Gotcha. You're killing me here. <laughs> here goes nothing. This is over. Pretty sure I saw one lying around. Oh, the reception desk. Yeah, but how to get in? Go up and over, maybe? Look. Pretty sure we could reach it if we hop across those lights. I don't know. I'll give it a shot. As the lightest one here, I figure I've got the best chance. You two can sit back and watch. <sighs> okay, guys. Wish me luck. You be careful. Aren't I always? Ah! 
Tifa! Oh shit! Tifa! Are you okay? <sighs> I thought I was dead for sure. Hand over hand, huh? That's fine. Bring it on. This isn't so bad. Pretty close now. Just need to make it over there. Almost there. Just need to get across those platforms. Some fine work. Uh, I might be able to disable security from here. Huh? <laughs> Hot damn, girl. But I didn't do anything. Shit, I'll take it. So you can use that to look up what floor the research facility's on? I think so. Give me a sec. <sighs> Bingo. Professor Hojo's lab. 65th floor looks like. Huh. Guess we can only get to the 59th floor via the elevators or stairs. To access any level above that, we need to check in at the Skyview Hall reception. 59th floor it is there. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> <laughs> 